Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. This episode we will go over completing daily challenges for today, Wednesday, August the 9th, 2023. Let's take a look and see what we got for our daily. Nice. Nice. Alright, so once again, every single one of these daily challenges, I have many, many videos on my channel. There's a particular one that's giving you some trouble. Check out my channel and you'll probably find at least one video on every single one of these. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to try to complete these as fast as possible. And uh, just by looking at them, basically there's several that we can, as long as we do some good planning, we should be able to uh, complete this in uh, very little time. All right. All right. It's pretty good here. All right. Let's take a look at this one here. Build a floor or wall decoration in a workshop or a camp five. Now you see there, I have 313, so I used a booster earlier, and that booster is still applied. So uh, that's why it's showing 313 score for me, right? So build a floor or wall decoration that we can either claim a workshop, uh, build some items in that workshop once when we claim it, or we can just build it at our camp. I prefer to build it at my camp, just because it's a little quicker. All right, go to our build menu. I like to go to the floor decoration part. I always highly recommend uh, picking something that doesn't cost a lot of resources. All right, like this uh, Blue Ridge rug, for example, any kind of rug uh, only costs usually cloth or uh, sometimes rubber. Uh, cloth and rubber are two things that a lot of people probably have and don't even know how much they have. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to build five of them. And then most times, I just usually scrap them when I'm done. You can choose to keep them if you want, but it's up to you. I just choose to scrap them. I'm just doing the dailies here. All right. Done. Done. All right, let's check to see what else we got here. All right, we have uh, complete an event. One. Same thing, 313 score, because I got a booster on. We can check the uh, map here. See what we got for events that are going on right now. Breach and clear. That's uh, usually about 5-10 minutes. Let's uh, check to see what else we got. Free range can be a little long, especially if you're by yourself. Alright. Let's go... Um, let's go right to Grafton. And uh, we'll try to call up one of the uh, two events that you can spawn in yourself. I find lately, I don't know about anyone else, uh, but I find there isn't very many events popping up on the map lately. I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know if anyone else notices that, but uh, I find lately the last week or two, you go on the map and there's like uh, you know, hardly any events coming up, showing up just, you know, as you know, spawn as they do, but uh, luckily there's a couple events we can spawn ourselves. Oh, we got nothing today. Wow. Wow, first time in a long time that has ever happened. I come here to Grafton and uh, no event spawns in. So we can either spawn in Grafton Day or a protest march. That is surprising. That does not happen very often. Wow. Wow. Go down here to Morgantown Airport. We'll try to spawn in collision course. Wow, that's bad luck. That's how you know you have bad luck on a server right there. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's, um... Let's go through the uh, the airport runway here, and we're going to make our way down to the quarantine zone. We're going to try to get past these scorched. As I said, you know, we could fight them all, but I'd rather just kind of do the uh, daily challenges. All right, let's go down here. Go to our quarantine zone and see if we can spawn in. Collision course. Cross our fingers, guys. Oh, perfect. There we go. So we've spawned in this event collision course. 
That's good, I'm happy about that. <laughs> Alright, activate that flare launcher, nice. Get up here. Alright, we're gonna take a rat away here. Attention all responders. This is Perfect. a top priority message. Radar has spotted an inbound cargo bot. We've got to secure the landing zone nope. so we can make the I don't wanna fight him right now. No surprise, but the cargo bot's going to attract attention, so get ready for a fight. This guy do it. But supposed to be down here. <laughs> oh, it's... What's going on? These guys are, uh, are hiding on me. Yeah, there's uh, something odd going on with the game here. <laughs> wow. Wow. Just uh, mind your business there, Scorch Beast. Alright, now we're on uh, the second one here. Dude, don't be uh, shooting at that Scorch Beast. I want him to uh, fly away somewhere. Now, usually this event, these guys are coming from either that way or on top of the hill, but this is, this is quite bizarre. So there's that explosion, far-flung uh, fireworks coming into uh, play there. 13% chance to make them explode. A lot of people have been mentioning that. <laughs> These guys have nothing to do with the event because they don't have the little diamonds over there. Yeah, there we go. There's another far-flung fireworks. <laughs> wow. Wow, this is bizarre. <laughs> All right. Get ready for the next wave here, the fourth one. Yeah, there you go. That's where that's the way they're supposed to come. This way. Our flung fireworks again. Too bad I couldn't get that in the video I made earlier. <laughs> oh well, what can you do? What can you do when you're looking for something or try to do something? It'll never happen. Just because. Alright, we're on the last wave there now. Go. Attention responders. Cargo bot is now on fire. Alright, there's our cargo bot. Now you gotta make sure if you haven't done this before, you gotta wait for that cargo bot to drop its uh <laughs> drop its package. I was gonna say something else there, but uh stop myself. <laughs> oh, I got some of these bad boys here. Let's uh chow down, wait for that cargo bot to There we go. We got here something to drink, nice. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Get that on. What is going on? Come on. This would get caught in that tree there, probably. Wait for this to drop, or we get completion of the event. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Like that. Perfect. Alright. Complete the event. Done. Right here at old Morgantown Airport and spawning collision course. Alright, let's carry on with these dailies here. Alright. Let's go ahead. We're going to deal a critical hit to a red toad. One.
let's go dep back up here to Grafton. We'll spawn in on the other side of Grafton, the north side. And there'll be some rat toads around. Usually about uh, three to four of them. So again, you know, a critical hit to a rat toad. I've explained this in many, many of my videos. Switch up these weapons here. Um, so basically, when you go vats, you have a little crit meter. Shows up in the middle of the screen. And you have to fill that crit meter before you can perform a critical hit. And once when you do, you'll hear a little uh, plop sound. Or a little bell, or whatever you want to call it. Informing you that you have a critical hit available. And we'll go along here. So you see, so okay, my crit meter is already full. Now you see that critical at the bottom, see how it's flashing Y? I have to hit the fire button and that Y button at the same time. So whatever platform you're on, it might be a little different, but uh, whatever button it is for you, you select that button and the fire button at the same time to perform a critical hit. There we go. The old critical hit, the red toe, done. You see how that crit meter is only, uh, you know, maybe 15%? shoot him and uh, that crit meter should have come up a little bit let's go down here there's more rad toads I'm gonna try to stay away from the super mutants that's the next part of our uh, <laughs> in this uh, episode here so when I go vats so you see how the crit meters up a little bit more let's go to left leg here so you see how it's filling up Right. Wait for these, uh, wait for that, uh, another rat toad. There you go. So, okay, so you hear that little sound, that little plop sound. So you're ready to do a critical hit. So you have to hit the, uh, now that critical is, uh, flashing. Now you hit that critical button with the fire button at the same time. There we go. Critical strike on rat toad. Done. That's the best way. I could explain it. Uh, dog, food for, uh, dog food there for a second. Alright. Well, that's that one. Okay, so. Uh, the next uh, four are going to be done fairly quick here. So, cripple, a super mutant's arm, two. And uh, take a picture of our super mutant. And then we're going to join a team. And then we're going to do this fellow first. But uh, we're going to cripple Super Mutant's arm, which is which will probably kill him. And then we'll take a picture of the Super Mutant. Okay. So you can either free aim, or you can use Vats. All right. I prefer to use Vats. Uh, fine energy weapons. I don't have much luck on in terms of uh, critical. Uh, terms of uh, crippling, I should say. Crippling anything. I always kind of go for something else. So let's go for this uh, lever action. Yeah, that was a two-shot explosive. So let's go ahead. We're going to go to the right arm here. There we go. Cripple Super Mutant's arm. So let's go to the left arm now. There we go. Cripple Super Mutant's arm. Two for two. Done. <laughs> Just like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, just like that. So, if you do it right, you should be able to uh, complete that daily with one super mute. All right, FYI. These guys here are going to uh, keep moving around. I'm back in caution, so that's good. Take a look at these dailies again. Take a camera picture of a Super Mutant 1. Okay. So this means we have to use a Pro Snap Deluxe camera to take a picture. We cannot use photo mode. You can take a picture of a Super Mutant, whether it's dead or alive. It doesn't matter as long as you use a Pro Snap Deluxe camera. Put this away here. Sneak over beside this uh, Super Mutant that we just killed. Let's grab that stuff first, though. Alright, so let's try our uh, photo mode. Go to our map, 
Put our photo mode here. All right, so you see how that doesn't work? Doesn't count. Now let's go to our Pro Snap Deluxe camera under our weapon section, this bad boy here. All right, bring him up. We're gonna lock and load. Now you're gonna aim it. Now you see Super Mutant in the top right hand corner. Now it goes away. We bring it back. It's back in. Let's take a picture. Done. Take a camera picture of a Super Mutant one for one. It's that easy, guys. It's that easy. Put these guys back on. Alright. Let's see what's next. Alright. Join a team with another player. One. So this one here is asking you not to be around other players, but you actually have to join a public team. Okay? And that will lead us into the fallout first. Alright. So all you have to do Join a public team. Okay, you just go to your... Let's go over here for a second. Just go to your map screen. Right? Let's gun away. Go to your map screen. Top right hand corner, see social. Whatever button it is for you, you select that. You slide it over. You can join a team. So let's go ahead and join this team. This team is already full. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if we can create our own team. Let's see if this works here. I don't think it will. Right? So you see how we how we have a team here? So basically it's we're just don't we just uh, created our own team. However, as the daily says, we need to join a team with another player. Okay, so we have to make sure we're on a team with a, at least one other player. Okay. Let's check again. Let's try this one again. The team is already full. Yeah, that's weird. All right. So we can wait for another player to join us. All right. Or there's not very many people on this uh, particular server. That's probably what the deal is or nobody wants to join a team. Let's try again. All right. Let's go ahead. We're going to server hop because uh, can't be here all day. Maybe there's uh, the next server we'll have more players on. Or more teams available, I guess. All right, let's go play. And those of you who are new to the game, don't be afraid to server hop. I know when I first started playing the game, I was just like, oh, I can't do that. But uh, it's, it's really part of the game. <laughs> Some servers are uh, a little bit more brutal, I guess, than others. All right. Right, go to our map screen. Oops. <laughs> go to our map screen. Top right hand corner screen. Social. So there we go. Let's join his casual team right here. There we go. Two other people on it. So that's it. Join a team another player. We got our gold star. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So that's done. So now we're going to head talk about the uh, follow first now I'm not gonna get credit for this but I have many videos showing me uh, get credit for it because I have many videos on this exact uh, challenge uh, that everyone can do sometimes right so we have to use photo mode in a teammates camp okay so you first must join a team like we just did okay and then you can go to one of your teammates camp right and in case, in case you didn't know your teammates camp will show up on the map if they show up on the map and they're going to show up just like yours it'll be like this gold yellow color all right and in case you didn't know one of the best best reasons why to join a team is because it's a free fast travel right so this is at the other end of the map so let's go ahead we're going to fast travel see there's fa free fast travel we didn't have to pay any caps for that's one of the other uh, great aspects of joining a team i can't stress it enough all right now, as you know, when you build a uh, whoa, as you know, when you build a camp, let's get rid of this cat here first. Whoa. <laughs> the old bloated glowing one having a good time there. Huh? Where's he going? 
I'm stuck here or something. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, okay. Anyways. <laughs> Let's go back to that uh, body there. If I can find him. I don't know where it went. Okay, enough of this. There we go. Have a nice life there, bloated glowing one. Where did that other cat go? Oh, there he is right there. See what kind of interest what he has on him. Oh, wow. Three-star junky uh, lever action. Nice. Ha! Huh. Been having some good luck lately with, um, with that. Alright, so <laughs> getting back to our daily here. Uh, when you take a photo mode in a teammate's camp, sometimes there's another daily or weekly that pops up where you have to eat a meal, eat a cooked meal in the teammate's camp, okay? So as I was saying, um, as you know, when you build a camp, you have a green circle that you can build within, okay? And that's the same with anyone's camp. Now, I <clears throat> sometimes I've had people say that they don't get credit uh, for uh, the daily or weekly challenges that pop up like that. I'm thinking because they're just outside their green circle. So I always suggest to kind of be in around um, the little camp uh, build here, this little guy, and be close to that. And then that way there, you'll be guaranteed to get credit. All right, so all you would have to do, <clears throat> let's go back. So we have to actually use photo mode, all right? So you go to your map, you go to photo mode at the bottom of the right hand corner of the screen then all you have to do <laughs> is you just take a picture just like that now it didn't show up for me because i don't follow it first but i have many videos showing uh proof that that works this poor uh, lad here he uh he fell from there poor guy all right so that's that i just wanted to show you that i just still kind of go through the paces of things and Let's head back up to my camp here, because he's uh, getting a little on the annoying side. <laughs> Pulling myself along the uh, concrete uh, slab there. <laughs> Alright, put this gun away. <clears throat> cool. So, as I say, as I always say, um, if you plan, plan out your trip here, Daily, weekly challenges uh, shouldn't be a problem. They shouldn't be fairly easy to do. And um, if I could do it, anyone can. All right, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. And I hope you all have a nice day.